Hello and welcome to Brockwell Lane. Uh, this will be the second program on uh, what do we want for the, from the ready to run manufacturers. Um, this week we'll be looking at LMS or uh, Midland Region of BR and that would also include any companies that uh, went into making the LMS. Uh, so uh, let's have a look at, at a couple of models that uh, are yet to come out. Here's the first one, this is from Backman. Um, it's a Stania Mogul. Uh, it's been on the cards for a long time now, and it's um, it shouldn't be too long now before it's out. Uh, it looks a very nice model. I know there's one on the Seven Valley Railway, um, which is a which is a very nice locomotive. Uh, the moulding looks very good on the boiler there. Um, almost makes me uh, wonder why Backman haven't uh, produced a Black Five um, because it's a very similar design. And the Hornby one, I think, maybe is getting a little bit tired now. I think Backman would probably make quite a good job of that. So I look forward to this one um, later this year or maybe early next year. Also from Backman, uh, which shouldn't be too long, is the Web Tank. Um, that's been in the catalogue for a long time as well. And again, that should be out um, in the not too distant future. And here's a locomotive that hasn't been available ready to run before. It's um, the Turbo Motive, um, which is based on a Princess class, um, but there are quite a few differences there. Um, it was a, a one off uh, experimental locomotive, which was later rebuilt into a standard um, Princess. But that might make an interesting uh, ready to run model if anybody's brave enough to do one of those. And here's another one-off locomotive, Big Bertha. Now this engine was built purely as a banking locomotive uh, to be as powerful as possible uh, for banking up um, the Link Licky Incline, I think it was, um, with a unique, huge um, American-style headlight um, on the uh, on the front of the boiler there. That'd be an interesting feature in DCC. Um, As you can see, it was a 010 uh, wheel arrangement, which is quite unique in this country. Um, and I think it would um, be a very interesting model for somebody to tattle, although again it is a one-off. Now one area of LMS uh, locomotives that have never been tattled um, was some of the Scottish type locomotives. Uh, this one's a small Ben by Drummond, um, who, although um, was a southern designer, did go to the Highland region, um, Highland Railway, to design some locomotives as well. Uh, there were small Bens, large Bens, um, Highland Railway castles, and of course none of these have ever been done in model form, uh, ready to run anyway. Um, and I think it's a large, a big area that's missing um, from the LMS um, locomotives um, because there's not really anything else like them and if you're doing a, a Scottish layout um, Thurso, um, you know, Wick, um, Highland Lines um, they were quite unique engines and uh, I think one of these would go down well um, I think maybe the Scottish um, modellers should probably get together and um, maybe get one of the shops to um, to um, get one, get one of the manufacturers to make one for them in a limited edition form. Um, I'd certainly buy one if the, if one came out anyway. Um, so this is just one example of uh, a number of Scottish types that uh, that could be modelled. And another one is um, it's Hornby 2P. It's been in the catalogue for an awful long time. Um, originally by I think Airfix from the 1970s or 80s it's tender drive, I mean it still looks pretty good but I think there's probably, it's probably about time somebody did um, a modern version um, with um, loco drive and uh, you know able to be fitted with sound and NEM pockets and everything else that the new models bring it's very similar to Backman's compound although uh, has inside cylinders uh, they used to uh, run on the Somerset door set a lot as well which was has long been a, 
a popular choice for modelers so I think that would go down really well um, with a lot of people um, I think Batman would be best suited to tattle this locomotive at the moment uh, due to their compound and the tender and uh, I think they'd probably make a good job of that and it's probably only a matter of time before that uh, a new version gets announced so they're my thoughts on LMS um, Midland Region locomotives um, that uh, maybe should be thought about in the future from the ready to run manufacturers if there's any you can think of or that you'd prefer um, in any gauge uh, please put um, put your comments at the bottom of the page there and you never know somebody might pick up on it so um, next time I'll be doing um, I'm going to do diesels next time so uh, I'll see you next time thanks for watching bye bye